Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the team of the season marking Osh card to review. Uh, he's going to have a shadow chemistry cell on this bad boy because I want to see if I care to give him that physical boost because a lot of people are giving him the anchor, which definitely uh, is going to be the right choice for four at the back formations. But even still, guys, I don't know, man, like law, pa law passes and through balls. I try to avoid them as much as possible. So that's why I usually like to give him a shadow. But yeah, Mark Kingos, guys, six foot tall, medium high work rates, right footed, three star, three star. He's actually on my main account. I can't even call it a main account anymore because I literally don't even play on it anymore. But I have the team of the year version of the Mark Kingos on that account. And he's really awesome to work with. Uh, In-game player traits. This card has the power header traits, leadership traits, team player traits, in-game attributes. Uh, we are going to be working with perfect pace for the shadow chemistry style on the card. I might switch to the anchor depending on the situation to see what the card is like uh, defensively. But for now, we'll keep it like this. Uh, no shooting capabilities uh, for a center back. Not a really a big promise. Shot power is at a 75. That's interesting considering he has a power header trait. I thought it'd be a little bit higher, but... Even still, base card stats are passing. Definitely set up very nicely for this card. Uh, dribbling in a very, very good area because with Marquinhos, they gave him 99 reactions with 99 composure. So usually with stuff like that, when it comes to, you know, being able to block out certain opportunities in defense, it is very nice to work with, right? And the fact that his dribbling stats is in a very, very good area considering the fact that he's six foot tall and an average body type will make him at least a transitioning beast. Uh, physical stats is already in the 90s area. This could be a similar situation to me checking out the Kunde card where I give him a shadow anyways because that meta can be very annoying to deal with. But with Marquinhos, guys, in-game, we're going to be mainly using him as a center back. Usually defender reviews I don't do. I do them if I'm reviewing like an attacker, you know what I'm saying? So since I got the Killian Mbappe card on my team, uh, we're going to go ahead and check him out. So we're just going to go ahead and switch some things here and there. Toadie Bo's got to be here. And then Verratti is going to be switched over here. And then the rest of it should be okay. Yeah, Mbappe on that side. We'll use uh, Marquinhos on the right center back position because I, I might switch in between Blanc and him all the time, depending on the situation. But yeah, for the most part, we will be using this uh, 4 2 3 or 3 4 3 5 2 formation. Cool. Let's go try him out. Oh, Marquinhos, you absolute beauty. Oh, awkward, but make it work. I'll take it. You see when I switch off of them, how much faster they are to track back? It's so crazy, man. Go, Marquinhos. That's why I tell you guys all the time, man. It doesn't matter what your shooting stats are. Like, you still got to hit high percentage strikes. Good job, Marquinhos. Was it a foul? Really? I just had to switch to him real quick there. There we go. Interception. Good pressure. Thank you. Oh. Quick transition speed. Great collect. I'm done marking Elish. Just had to aggressively push that area there. Marquinhos again, nice. Well, that one he didn't do any blocking animation, but he did miss the net, so don't mind that whatsoever. See, that's why I get the pace, man. That is exactly why I get the pace. Kingos with the AI interception. Well done, Marquinhos. Thank 
Yeah, I'd have to, have to control the uh, shielding there as well. Nice job, Marquinhos. Way to block out the attacking opportunity, my boy. His, uh, his quick stops is uh, very helpful to work with, for sure. Don't worry, we got the pace already. We got it. Thank you, Marquinhos, for saving my life. Marquinhos to the rescue. Yeah, guys, I would just use the pace. I'm going to be honest. Like, you, you guys know me, bro. Long can't get it, but Mark Kingosh can. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, giving him that extra pace boost is like, I don't know. For me, I just think it's way better. Thank you, Marquinhos. Yeah, see, pace with Marquinhos, man. I'm telling you guys, like, I don't care if it's another two or three. It makes that little bit of difference, you know? Collect that real quick. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the team of the season Mark Kingos card. So, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, uh, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style, right? I showed you guys multiple opportunities where, in my opinion, it always makes the most sense to have near enough perfect pace in this game, okay? When it comes to the through balls and when it comes to law passes, the registration of attackers is better than the registration of defenders. So, you need your players to be able to react as quickly as possible to those opportunities. So, when you increase his pace to be at a 99-99 with 99 reactions, 99 for composure, while essentially working with perfect defensive capabilities, I think the card is fantastic to work with, right? It was the same thing with the Team of the Year card. Like when I used him, um, at the time I used an Anchor Chemist style, people were not doing it as much before, but now people are literally forcing it constantly. Like even if it doesn't make sense to do, they will do it. Even if it doesn't like the law pass the through ball like they they can see it that it doesn't make sense it'll still work sometimes right so at the time when i was using this card i gave him the anchor chemistry style and i was completely content with it because of the extra physical boost that it gave the pace boost but i did get to a certain point where i was like i gotta give him a shadow right so very similar situation to the team of the season card the difference between both of the variations of marquinhos we're taking a look at a plus one difference to be honest with you guys i've used a lot of the team of the year marquinhos card I personally didn't notice like a huge significant difference. So if we're taking a look at it from a market value perspective, it doesn't really matter which one you get because when you give either or the shadow chemistry style, the main thing that would have been a huge difference maker is probably base card stats for physical being improved. But I mean, either way with the card, if you give him a shadow chemistry style, it's formatted very similarly to the other one. And even if you give him an anchor chemistry style, it's still formatted very similar to the other one as well so it's just one of those types of situations now if we take a look at the best center backs in league one he's probably gonna be one of the best ones right so if we take a look at the league one marquinhos is definitely going to be one of them uh it's him and the team like whichever version you get it's him and their team of the year is definitely gonna be very good uh sergio ramos would still hold up in the game nowadays i just wouldn't recommend him in a three-back formation because of the way that his pace is set up uh saliba is definitely pretty solid as well Medina after the upgrades, he's okay. His pace split is a little bit strange, but it definitely still works on this card for sure. Um, Cody Bowles decent. Denayer never ended up trying out the Denayer card. Apparently, he's an absolute monster, though. Thiago Dijai low, uh, like the Koza card, just felt like an upgraded silver. These ones, these cards people are not going to use anymore because of the work rate difference, the physical being there and stuff. So... If you take a look at the differences of center backs, there's really not much to work with. So when it comes to Marquinhos, guys, he is going to be one of the better ones. Dante is a gameplay objective that I'll probably try to get later on today. 
because he also looks like an absolute monster too, right? So he's a high and average body type player with a six foot two height. Reactions and composure is not as good, but for a gameplay objective, it definitely doesn't look that bad. So definitely gonna give him a go whenever I have the opportunity to. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.